Hello, Michael here with an exciting video about how to install uh, Besh's OpenVDB for Redshift 2. A few people have had problems installing this and I was one of those people um, since I upgraded to Windows 10 on my new PC. So I just wanted to give a quick overview of how I installed it um, and how I fixed the issue I had where the plugin wouldn't load. So there's two things that you'll need to download. Um, that's the super plugin for Maya and OpenVDB for Maya, uh, Besh's OpenVDB for Maya. Um, I'll leave links in the descriptions on where to get both of those. But basically, uh, this is the page where you'll be getting it from. You'll want to download soup, uh, the latest version, which has come out on Valentine's Day. That's lovely. And um, OpenVDB for Maya and Arnold um, here. And uh, once you've downloaded those, jump over into wherever you downloaded them to, extract them, and um, you'll get for OpenVDB something that looks like this. And inside of it, you've got a couple of things. You want to go to for Maya, you want to go to Maya, you want to go to your Maya version, mine's 2016, and you'll get all this here. Um, you can right click and uh, copy that if you like. And then I'm just going to open this in a new window. All right, so on the left here is where I copied from, and on the right here is where I'm going to copy to. So I'm going to go to C, Program Files, uh, Autodesk, and then what I've done is I've created a file called OpenVDB, and then in it it's got Maya 2016, and that's where you want to paste, right click and paste everything there. Um, you'll notice that the Maya 2016 mod file is not in there. I'm going to move that somewhere different. Uh, so if you've pasted it all in there, I want you to cut that file. So you right click and cut. And then I want you to go to your documents and go to Maya and uh, 2016 and then modules. If you don't have a modules file, uh, create one. And then um, you'll have this module, uh, this My 2016 module here. Right click on that and edit with Notepad. I've got uh, Notepad++, um, but regular old Notepad will do the same thing. So you'll have a description here, um, which is gonna point to the file that we just created. So C program files, Autodesk slash OpenVDB slash My 2016. If you wanna get that path, um, you could always go back to where you extracted everything to, right click on the address bar and copy address as text, and then you can just paste it in there. Once you've updated that, save it and close it. All right, so let's install soup. So if you've unzipped soup, these are all the things you're gonna get here. Uh, we're going to start with icons. So with icons, all those icons need to go into your uh, Autodesk Maya and then icons. And you can just copy everything in that and drag it into that file and that will do the trick. I've obviously already done it, so uh, I'm going to skip these files. Um, open source, there's nothing there that you need. Plugins, this is where you're going to get the actual plugin for soup. So you're going to go to your version of Maya, mine is Maya 2016 for Windows, and you'll see the soup MLL. Um, and this is where, depending, depending on how you've set up your Maya.env is where you'll install this to, and I'll show you what I mean. So if you go to your documents, Maya, 2016, you've got this file here. This is your Maya environment variable. So if I right click on that and open with um, Notepad, you'll see I've got Maya plugin path here. So that's where I install all my plugins to. Um, if it just says Maya plugin path uh, equals and nothing, you're going to want to create a path. So you can create it anywhere. I've got it in my documents. Um, I'll just show you here on the right. So I've just created a folder under Maya called Maya Plugins. So if you want to do the same as me, you can do that. Just at the end of it, obviously working with Redshift, um, just make sure there's no space between the semicolon and the Redshift uh, plugin path. Otherwise it will get a bit screwed up. Um, and then go to your Maya Plugins path, which you've created, and you can just copy that soup.mll um, into there. Uh, next is the shelves, so it's still in your Maya under your documents, go to 2016, go to uh, prefs and shelves and just drag that soup shelf in there and that will uh, allow you to use the, any of the um, soup plugin stuff with Maya op from the shelf. So uh, there's one last thing that we need to install before we can get it to run correctly in Maya, and that's the arnold.dll file that we need. It's ai.dll. Uh, to get this, you will need to go to the solidangle.com website, slash arnold, slash download, and um, scroll down until you get to arnold SDK, and uh, 
click there and download. You will need to create a soft um, solid angle account. Uh, it's free, so just create one, download the file, it's free as well, uh, and you'll get this one here. Open that up, go to bin, and then grab ai.dll, copy it, and then we'll go to our uh, my install file. And uh, then we will go to bin, and we'll paste it in there. And you can see that I've already done it, obviously. So it's this file there. And then that should get it to run. Now, theoretically, if everything's gone according to plan, you should be able to open Maya up and see the plugins. And I'll show you what that will look like. Um, but if you're like me, this first attempt won't quite have worked. And there's one other step you can take if it doesn't work at this point. So just let my boot up here and you'll see that I've obviously already installed this. So I've got the OpenVDB shelf there and the soup shelf there. Um, now, if those have loaded but they're empty, um, go to Windows, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager. You'll have soup.mll at the top. You can auto load that and load and you can see that it points to where our Maya plugin path is. And if you scroll down, because we used a module to set this up, um, this has sort of created its own little environment variable and it's pointing um, Maya to this path here. So you can auto load that and load it and you'll see that it has got everything it needs there. Now, um, if this isn't working, which is the most common thing I think, um, the little uh, eye icon won't be selectable and you won't be able to load it, it'll give you an error. So there is two possible reasons for this. Uh, one could be a system variable reason, and the other could be a um, Microsoft redistributable that you might need to install. So um, to change your system environment stuff, um, actually the first thing I'd say to do, if this hasn't worked, is to close Maya and uh, jump back into your documents, Maya and 2016, then go to prefs, and user prefs and just rename this to like uh, user prefs backup one or whatever you want to call it um, you can see I've done a couple of different ones because um, I was messing around with it trying to get it to work um, and then if you relaunch Maya um, the plugins may be there and be able to be enabled again uh, for some reason user prefs is probably the most common thing that you want to delete and refresh after you um, after you install a new plugin um, basically what will happen is Maya will create a new one and look for all, repath everything. So uh, it will just sort of help with the installation process. But if you've done that and you've gone back into Maya and it hasn't worked still, um, there is one or well, two things that we can try. So I'm gonna show you. Um, so I got this Visual C++ redistributable uh, for Visual Studio 2012 update four. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description, so don't worry about remembering that. You'll need to go to this web page here though, basically, and download it. Um, if you're using a 64-bit operating system, then um, you will need to get the x64 version. If you're not in Australia, the link won't work. So um, all you need to do is search for that specific thing in Google and go to the Microsoft page that you get. So you can see I've got the en-au. Um, I guess theoretically, if I typed in something like en slash ca would be Canada. Yeah, that works. Um, so yeah, probably just Google it though and uh, type that in and you'll get your uh, specific version. Then um, you'll need to run it um, and it'll probably either give you an option to install or repair. If you don't have the option to install, just repair and then relaunch Maya and check if the plugin works. If it doesn't work, then we have one last thing that we can try. Um, so we can create a system-wide environment variable for Windows. So if you right click on your um, Windows button and go to System, and advanced system settings and then environment variables. So what we're gonna do is change the system variables for path. So if we edit that, you'll see it's got a bunch of different variables that it can use. Um, if you wanna create a new one, just type in new and it's gonna um, give you an option to type a path in. So we're looking to create a path to the Arnold uh, file that we put in the bin, uh, in the Maya bin folder. So I've just copied it from uh, Windows, and if I go new, right click and paste, it will be under your Autodesk Maya 2016 slash bin, whatever, wherever that is. 
Um, this I don't require for my particular scenario, so I'm not going to create it lest I cause problems. All right, so hopefully that's helped a few of you out there uh, getting this to install. If you are having problems, feel free to ask in the comments, but um, I can't be 100% confident that I'm going to be able to help you. All this stuff is very finicky and very system dependent. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that if there was anyone out there that were having the same problems as me, there was a just clear and concise description on how to get it installed for Windows 10 because I had it installed with no problems on Windows 7, so I just couldn't figure out why it wasn't going on Windows 10. Uh, but now it's working. I'll probably put up a tutorial later this week uh, showing you a very simple way to connect an open VDB node uh, to your Maya scene and get something rendered up very nicely. Otherwise, uh, that's it uh, for this particular tutorial. If you liked it and it helped you out, make sure you click the like button so other people can find it on YouTube. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed as I'm doing all sorts of video tutorials every week, um, a couple at least at the moment. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching and um, happy rendering.